Hi everyone, Nathan here from Mighty Lancer Games. Welcome to another fun and exciting evening streaming with Mighty Lancer Games. Woo! <laughs> Hi everyone. Is that your... Uh... Is that your cup of tea off Tony? Tony's making everyone a, a cup of tea. Oh, yeah, pa passing them out when people come into the stream. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Sounds, sounds good. good. Yeah. Hi, Sharon. Got me, uh, got me mug of tea ready. Just gonna, uh, gonna try mixing some uh, pure black and dragon red over here to get some transitiony colours going on, so I can uh, blend. Blend my uh, dragon's neck from black into red up here before I start painting the head itself. I want to do the neck uh, and then black into red. And then once we've done the neck, I'm going to put the head and for both uh, things. We'll do the necks and then we'll get on to highlighting the heads. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. So sorry. I was doing so well today and then suddenly just got like a bit of blood. Hi everyone. Uh, hi Sharon. Hi Tony. Hi Moxie. How are you all this fine evening? Hope you are all well. So, I've got... Uh, Just a, a rough mix of, uh, of black into dragon red. Just going to progress it down the thing, the scales, and then once we've got that kind of weird kind of rough blend going on, then uh, and it's all dry, then we'll highlight it up a touch. But just need to get it smushed on to start off with. Shan says, all good, and how about you? Yeah, super. We had a, a very busy day today, one of our last posting days where we uh, are guaranteeing, uh, or Royal Mail are guaranteeing that stuff that they collect is going to get to folks in time for Christmas. I think tomorrow is the last uh, posting day for first class stuff. Uh, I could be wrong, but I think that's how it works. So, uh, yeah, we've had a very busy day today, trying to get everything out the door. Everything uh, that needed to be out the door today has gone out the door today, which has been good. So, uh, yeah, very, very productive. Tony says, doing good here. Took leave of my senses and started working on a limestone cave today. A limestone cave. Awesome. Is that uh, buoyed by your success of the, the other cave you decided to leap into a new project? Needs to be like pure dragon red at this end, where it's going to connect to the neck hole, the, uh, the body of the dragon, even. He says, I wanted to do the pool room too, so figured, what the heck? Doing like cool. a whole, a whole thing. Yeah, for uh, the Borderlands module. Then of the uh, cave of the owl bear. Yes. 
What am I doing? I am mixing uh, dragon red into uh, into black to just get this. So my uh, technique is to just. Not so just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm carefully and precisely mixing, as you can see, uh, these colours on my palette to get a uh, a glorious and smooth transition between the colours from uh, from red to black. Well, it definitely seems to be a lot darker on this side than it is on that side, so. We'll just have to maybe that maybe uh, maybe that side's in shade. Yeah, we'll just have to get that. <laughs> There's no sun on that side. Get that a bit darker up there. Oh, can definitely do a bit of work on the highlighting side, but yeah. So there's. Uh, so by the time that's on there, that that looks all right actually. I'm quite happy with that. Right, so let's just take that back off and out of the way. Uh, and then we're going to do this green one down here. Can you hold it up or hold it I'll hold it when it's dry. Doesn't look like much at the moment. Let's just get that, just get that edgy uh, edge sorted out there. Super. Right. Right then, and then I'm going to need some more dragon red because over here I've got uh, some Christmas wreath. So I've gone over my uh, dragon's head that I did last week with the game colour dark green. And we've gone over it with some Christmas wreath just to make it a little bit more solid. And then I've painted in the horns and stuff. So uh, now we're going to go from Christmas wreath, which is this, to, uh, to the dragon red for the lower head. And see how I can make uh, see how I can make brown out of green and so I'm using an old brush for this because I'm getting it like smushing uh, smushing together. Yeah, it's gonna look horrible in it. I don't know, is it? Yeah. <coughs> Why is that then? Because right. green and red make brown. Perfect. Yeah, really. We got some Christmas chocolates, you know, the traditional uh, celebrations. But instead of getting a tub or a tin, I don't even know if we do tins anymore, we've got packets because it was you got more chocolate for cheaper in a, in the packet than you did in the tubs. And we've got loads of tubs in our house. They have the traditional, you know, sewing kit and bird seed and things in. Um, and they've opened it tonight for some ridiculous reason. I've nearly eaten them all already. I have a little pile of wrappers next to me. I, yeah, so, so I did it, wonder if you were going to <laughs> eat them all before the going to eat started. them all, yeah. So you get Snickers, Maltesers, Twix, Milky Way, Bounty... Galaxy Caramel, Galaxy, and Mars in celebrations, because they're uh, Mars ones, obviously, the maker, rather than Cadbury's. So, what is your favourite celebration, Mr. MLG, and everybody in chat? What would you pick out of those? Uh, just regular Galaxy chocolate and the Malteser ones. Not it? Yeah, they're my favourite. You said, what's your favourite? That's my favourite. Okay. Those two. So I've been eating the bounties and the Milky Ways because you don't like the bounties. No. Oh, the Maltesers are nice. Malteser teasers, as they're called, when it's just smushed up Maltesers in chocolate. They are super cool. I don't like Snickers because I don't like nuts. I don't really like the Twix either. Even though I like Twixers, I don't like the Twix that you get in celebrations. Yeah, they're they're different. They're weird, aren't they? Well, it's like the Maltesers. They're not. No, they're they're different. So, what does everybody else like out of those? Out of, the, out of celebration tubs, what, what's your what's your go-to? You dip your hand in and you think, right, I really want to find that. And then you're disappointed when you've eaten them all. <laughs> and then you're just left with the ones that nobody likes. 
There was a there was a kit one of these bags. There was a Kit Kat one, Kit Kat bag. All right. But it just seemed to have small pieces of Kit Kat in it. And that's kind of just. Like, you might as well just have a Kit Kat then. Yeah. You? I think we've asked the wrong crowd here because uh, Sharon says her favourite chocolate is pizza, and Tony didn't like chocolate, so I said that just means there's more for mm. me. So we'll invite you round, and then yeah, can um, can I can eat the chocolate? I think that's that's established yeah. that really, hasn't it? <laughs> May contain hazelnuts, almonds, and oats. What's got oats in it? I mean, obviously it's going to contain nuts. They've got Snickers in. I wonder what has oats in. I don't know. It's better not to read the back of the packet, though, isn't it? You really don't want to know what's in them, unless you've got allergies. Nice bit of glucose syrup going down there. <laughs> right. Fat reduced cocoa. Oh, that's, that'll do. I can pretend that they're good for me now. What are you like? Well, you weren't talking, so I had to talk oh. about what I was doing. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so uh, yeah, just making a big brown uh, mess on your dragon at the moment. But this is fine because this is just like laying down the base, isn't it? And that's how, how I'm kind of justifying it to myself. Just laying down the base layers of, uh, of colour for highlighting later. I like, I like how the black one's drying, that, that looks okay. It's, uh, it's just this green, greeny, uh, greeny, ready mess over here. We'll see, see how that turns out. I've had to keep stopping people from uh, spoiling The Witcher for me at work as well today. People have been starting to discuss it because uh, apparently the whole of season two is available to watch. Yeah, you can just binge one. So, yeah, so people have been, like, binging the whole thing. Hi, Pete! And, uh, I, like, had to stop a couple of people from spoiling it for me. Pete says, Hydrate! Pete is at a works Christmas party. Oh, yeah. Have you got a Christmas jumper on, Pete? Are you doing Secret Santa? Hydrate with me cold tea. Thanks, Pete. It says, nope, was working beforehand and, yep, done the secret Santa. Did you get anything good or was it poop? We used to, where I used to work before I retired, um, we used to do secret Santa and sometimes they were just absolutely rubbish and people used to leave them on the table and not take them home which I thought was really mean you could at least pretend you wanted it mm. we stopped it after so long because it just seemed like a really waste of time yeah that's a bit poop isn't it yeah and it was never secret because everyone used to swap like if they didn't get their mates they used to go, <laughs> used mm. to go around swapping it's like well, you might as well just buy something for your friend it's not really the point is it cast iron cast iron pan and cheese that's a strange secret Santa yeah is that so you can do some more cooking is that is that just some kitchen equipment that they've got you just to just just to help you do your job is that <laughs> is that like when you know when I got a new a new iron and stuff is that <laughs> is that what that is is it something that you wanted? Are you happy? What did you get then? I'm looking forward to seeing the Secret Santa minis from the Discord. And everyone did the Secret Santa in the Discord and uh, seeing what, what everybody got. That'll be cool. Everyone's going to get theirs and then, uh, and then I think they're going to put some pictures on so that we can all see. We can all see what they got. But that'll be. They are rushing around over there. 
I'll switch your mic off because you were so noisy. Oh, sorry. So you'll have to tell me when you've stopped rustling and I'll switch it back on. Yeah, so it'd be cool on the Discord to see everybody's uh, everybody's minis and what everybody got and how everybody decided to paint theirs. We've got so many different styles of painting in the Discord and different levels and stuff. It'll be really cool to see what everybody ended up with. All the awesomeness. I can't wait to show the one I got. It's so amazing, says Sharon. Oh, uh, not got my secret centre yet, but looking forward to seeing what everyone else got, says Tony. Awesome. Do you think you'd be able to guess who's done it? Can you, have you had a guess at who's done it, Sharon? Um, you know, just do to yourself, just in your own head. Have you had a thought of like, oh, I know who's done this? Or have you got absolutely no idea? Do you want me to switch you back on, sweetie pie? Yeah, you can turn me back on, yeah. Are you gonna Are you gonna talk to us? Yeah. About what you've just done. Yeah. So I, uh, I've just taken the top out of this uh, nightmare black because it was very watery. So I've just pulled the top out of there, given it a good clean out, and then uh, put a couple of mixing balls in and given it a good shake up. So hopefully, now it should be uh, a lot better for painting with. Yeah, well, we'll have a go if it's no good. So, um, I like this Nightmare Black. It's really good, but it is quite prone to uh, to settling. And I'm going to use this as my first highlight colour over the pure black that I've used on this head. So, I'm just going to paint that in not over everything but over kind of like three quarters of the scales leaving the pure black in the deepest parts Sharon says she thinks she knows who's, who's in her secret Santa and Tony says mine's a dead giveaway have you written lots of love from Tony on it <laughs> Oh, sorry. I thought you were going to say some more stuff. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Just going to do some tiny little lines and stuff. Drawing away from the shadowy points. And then, so this Nightmare Black is, is a very, very dark blue so once we've done this then I'm gonna mix a little bit of um, like an ashy grey colour into this and then use that as another highlight layer because I don't I'd still want it to look black but obviously it's got to have some highlight to it And because it dries so dark, this is a bit like when you're painting a ceiling. You've got to look at it in different lights to see where you've been. <laughs> is that why we never paint the ceilings? Yeah. Well, just don't look up, it'll be fine. We haven't decorated for a while. Uh, yeah. A very very long while at least eight years since we did the living room <laughs> well nearly nine now <laughs> but uh, it does need doing but yes yeah, not not on the top of the priority list that is it no so the house is still standing it doesn't really matter that the paint's really old be right yeah add a new roof that'll that'll do yeah, yeah. Like, we the treat, most important we, thing we treated it you treated it, yeah. You're not having any new paint, you've had a new roof. 
By the time we get in the living room to watch telly, it's dark anyway. We can't we can't see what colour the walls mm. are. I said something to Little Miss the other day about decorating because we, we were watching um, Britain's greatest interior design program or some absolute nonsense, and um, I said like, "Oh, that's nice. It, they, they've done the walls in like a a really." rich teal and then it had mustard accents and i said oh hi we could do i said oh that's uh, that's cool that'd be really nice that'd be nice in here and little miss said oh but i don't like the yellow i said but the, the walls are yellow now sweetheart mm. well one is because it because it's still got one of those um you know what what did they call it feature walls. feature walls because it's been that long since we decorated our house still has feature walls so one of the walls is yellow and she and she hadn't even realized because that's how often we look at the wall color in our house <laughs> that, to be fair that wall is behind us when we're sat on the sofa i know but it's still yellow i mean <laughs> yellow's not a blending in color is it really to be fair <laughs> i mean it's not pale saffron yellow but it's still bright yellow it's not outrageous compared to the rest of like the room, is it? Oh, all, all the Egyptian all the cotton other, and yeah. soft yellow. All of the other walls in our house are Egyptian cotton because we liked it, so we painted everything Egyptian cotton. <laughs> uh, hi, Gerald. It's uh... yeah. Tony's made a nice cup of tea for us all. We were just talking about what your favourite celebrations is in the celebration packet because I've nearly eaten all the celebrations. That I've opened, Julie Christmas chocolate, um, and I only opened them just before the stream started. So now I've got this little little pile of empty wrappers next to me. I haven't even had one. And yet. you've not had one yet, because <laughs> I'm very naughty. No, and, and I have given you some. I know, but out of what you've given me, there's only actually one proper galaxy. Oh, I'll find you some proper piece. galaxies. So now we could do Andrew out here. You'll have to recap as to what you are doing because all it looks like on screen you are doing is painting black over black <laughs> <laughs> hi guys so what I'm doing is uh, is I'm currently painting uh, Reaper nightmare black over Reaper pure black so I am painting black over black just not quite play the same black over black so this nightmare black is more a blue black very uh, very dark indigo kind of color and uh, this is the first of several highlight layers to my black here on uh, on the black head of Maldrakar. And uh, and I've done one almost finished one half of her head. We should have had. I need to check. I had a thought earlier on that. We should have finally got our uh, our WizKids gargantuan tear mat mini delivered over the weekend, but I haven't seen it anywhere uh, in the shop. So I'm going to have to I'm gonna have to track that down tomorrow. Have a chat with the guys that were working over the weekend and find out whether it's turned up or not, or whether it's coming tomorrow. And then, uh, and then we need to decide where we're going to put it, because that thing's supposed to be a huge. It is very expensive, yeah, and it will be for sale. Uh, when you find it, when I find it, yeah. I mean, it might not be coming till tomorrow. I have had a notification to say that something's getting delivered tomorrow, so could be that. But I believe something did get delivered on Saturday, so just need to track it down. But the guys that were working on Saturday were in today, so I can't ask them. Yeah, gargantuan tear mat. Uh, so, just going to move on to the other side of the head. Now, just work my way around. So, I don't know if you can see how that looks on that side. No, it's with the screen. Mm. Okay. It just looks blue then, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. 
So there you go, there's, there's layer one, you can just see. So it's still black in the recesses with the blue, e, the nightmare black uh, as highlights. And then we're gonna mix uh, like an ashy gray color into the nightmare blue to brighten it up a little bit and just do a finer highlight. So I'm just gonna do the other side of the head and then we'll come back and do uh, the other bit. I'll change your focus back then. Yeah. And I can find the mouse. Here, yeah, mousey, mousey. I talked about mice. We've got a mouse in the garage, haven't we? Yes. That's had a little nibble on uh, on some Reaper paint, which is ours. It's not shop stock. It's in yeah. our it's in our garage. Uh, it's had a little nibble on the side of some Reaper paint, and uh, and a little nibble on some packets, just to see how they tasted like. <laughs> Yeah, that's me. Little douchebag. So I need to, uh, yeah, I need to set the, set the mouse traps. And um, before it goes chewing any of my minis. <laughs> Tony says, I really should take a cracker to Dragon for twenty twenty two. You should, Tony, just for a laugh. And want to get a daddy dragon painted up too. Yeah, you should just see, you know. But then if you don't want to do one, then don't do one. But might as well have a go and see. Yeah, painting a dragon is not too different from uh, some of the big re reaper stuff you've been tackling, I guess. You've done, uh, done mash off and... You can make a really cool base as well. For a dragon. I'm painting this, whatever it is. What am I painting? This shambly thing. Like a. I don't know what it's called. Yeah. It's like a spirit of the forest shambling mound earth elemental thing. I, I, don't, I don't know what its actual proper term is, that one, because it's out of the blacklist miniatures box. Yeah. So I'm doing him. Having a go. I need to base coat those things for you. You do. It's really strange though, this, because it's all vines and like swampy looking blah blah, and then he's just got one random mushroom grown out of his shoulder. But there aren't any anywhere else. It's not like, oh, there's, you know, a few more mushrooms hanging around over there. No, nope. everything else is just vines and then this this one mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a bit weird. Up oh, the dog's snoring. Hmm. Right, so. Yep, yeah, come on. You can stop saying so and you can tell oh. us all about what you're doing over there. Well, you know what I'm doing. I'm painting, uh, I'm painting black on black. But you know, are you using a, a special brush? Are you using any techniques? Are you, are you having fun? Of course I'm having fun. I'm here with you. Uh, that's not really what I meant, was it? Yeah. <laughs> come on. Come on. I'm uh, using my Rosemary & Co. Series 22 number 1 brush. Have you decided which Rosemary & Co.'s you like best? Or are they all uh, different for different jobs? Yeah, different for different jobs. I do like this for the majority of things there if i'm honest this one uh, i like i've decided that i like the series 22 over the series 33 because the bristles are ever so slightly longer um, uh, and i like it uh, because of that so i like the uh, I like the bristles being that tiny little touch touch longer and then the only thing that I would change about it is I would prefer if the handle was just a little bit chunkier. But that's only a minor thing, isn't it? So. Stop saying so. Uh, neck still needs to dry a bit. The black the black into red neck is nearly dry. But the green into red neck is still damp from where I was smushing it. Oh, there's a free hydrate for you, Pete. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get some uh, like an ashy grey 
colour. So, have I got like what I'm thinking of here? Infinitely? Yes, I think we're going to use weathered stone, some Reaper weathered stone. And uh, I'll just have a little blob of that. Maybe not because it's, uh, it's blocked up. What are you doing? Oh, just unclearing my uh, nozzle. Oh, what were you using? My pokey tool. <sighs> okay. <laughs> So, let's oh, stop saying so. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, I've turned into one of those people. So when I used to work, uh, and I had a proper job, and we used to go to conferences, and some of the people that used to present at multi, you know, you'd see them at different places. So they'd be at. Oh, I've done it again. They would be at different conferences, and we'd see them at different places around the country, and we'd go, and they would say, "A guy's doing a presentation, and his presentation's on um, continuous improvement." There you go, continuous improvement. And there was one guy called Wayne, and he used to say, "Yeah." So he'd say something, and then he'd go. Yeah. Yeah. And then he'd launch into whatever else he was saying next. And everybody used to take the mick out of him. And I've turned into one of those people. But I just say so instead of yeah. And there used to be people around the room making a tally of how many times he'd say yeah throughout his presentation. Maybe we need a tally of how many times you say so. No. I'm gonna the, the so I'm gonna, tally. I'm gonna make a massive conscious effort to not. But you use were making that a massive conscious effort, and that's why you kept going. I've done it again. Yeah. Tony says I don't miss corporate horror. Yeah. Uh, Wiki D says I use the word um far too often. I'm just happy when um, Nathan speaks on stream. I, I just you know rather than just silence. He he really really enjoys painting. The hobby is his passion, but if you watch the streams, as you do, you, you wouldn't get that sense at all, would you? I mean, you know, come on, let's get some enthusiasm, it's Christmas! Yay! This is your last Monday... <laughs> oh, like a made a jerk. <coughs> <laughs> this is your last Monday stream for know, a week or whatever it is, two weeks, I don't know. Um, let's, you know... Woohoo! Uh, it's Christmas! Nope. I am happy and I am enjoying did, my did painting. Did anybody else get the joy in that statement? I am happy. I, uh, I, think I, I, I find it very hard to paint and talk, as I, we have discussed many times, my darling. That's why, that's why you need to do all the talky-talky while I'm painting, because you're But no one can see what I'm painting. So it's like, oh, I'm just, no, uh, that's just using do... flubber green at the moment and I'm mixing that with a little bit of Christmas wreath. And then I have got some brown because we all know how much I love brown. Tony says you've got to put a hat on just for that, that enthusiasm. So I tried dark umber from Green Stuff World, but I didn't like that. Um, and then I can't actually remember what other brown I've got going down here. I don't actually know what brown that is. Because I put the dark umber out and then decided that I didn't like it. And got another brown. Genuinely don't know what brown that is. That's really annoying because if I need some more, I won't know what it is. What have you got on? Antlers. Antlers. Ah. Tony says, I used to paint a natural way like a right little chatterbox. Well, that's what you need on stream. I mean, you know. But... Yeah, I'm painting this guy with those colours and this random brown. <laughs> but there's no so, point in me telling you what I'm doing because you can't see my... <laughs> Wiki Deez says, you've got to do the chicken dance and that might cheer you up. She didn't, she didn't say that at all, but that's what I'm going with. Mm. 
much enthusiasm as you can. Play your bells. I don't know what you mean. Guess not then. <laughs> <laughs> this is just me. It's the way I am. <clears throat> yep. Silence is golden. So I'm. I'm just. Uh, <laughs> Keep hitting the light with the ants. Uh, so I have mixed a little bit of weathered stone in with my nightmare black, and uh, I am just applying that to the edges of the scales on the head. Yeah. I'm just working under his chin. You can't see what's, uh, what's actually going on. Just working a little bit onto the edges, not too much because I don't want to, as I said before, I don't want to paint the entire like uh, scale, panel, whatever you want to call it. Little, uh, little edges. Is that like getting some highlights on? Them? Yeah, yeah. And then I think what I'm going to have to do, because this is looking quite blue now. So what I might have to do is We've give it... We've got three blue heads. Yeah. Drink! <laughs> drink! Tony says, have a drink, tra-la-la-la-la. Get that cold tea down here. Yeah. Uh, so what I might have to do is put a, like a black wash over the top of this. Cold tea. How's yeah. the cold tea? It was delicious, but that was the last mouthful, so... Oh, no! You'll have to make me a little one. I will. I will, sweetie pie. I'll make it with cold water, and then you can keep up the tradition of cold tea. No. <laughs> You're going to put a black wash, did you say? Or was that, yeah, was so that what you were saying? It is, yeah. I think a black wash. No, uh, but I might leave that until we get to the rest of the thing, because I don't know whether to do it with null oil gloss. Oh, shiny. To give it a little bit of a shiny finish. I'm not quite sure. And what's that for? What's going to be shiny? That's this head. And why would paint. you want one shiny head? Well, I don't know whether I want it to like look like it's got a bit of a glaze to it or not. Or whether to make it matte. Sounds weird. Yeah. I mean... I think we, we'll do it matte and then see if I think it maybe needs an upgrade. Okay. Anyway, I always say to you, don't I? Oh, you know, you should talk more. You should, you know, engage with the uh, people in chat and stuff. They might not want you to. No. So, so everybody in chat, what do we think? Do we think it's nice when we just shut up and you can hear the music and just watch the painting? Or... Is it nice when I shut up and you can hear Mrs. MLG talking? That's not what I was going to say. <laughs> or is it better when, like, we're just jabbering on? Because really, you know, this is this is for you. As you want, want what you want, really. If you'd rather just do a bit of silence and relax and listen to the music, then then put us on mute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you see, chatter. So you've got to talk more. Get some talking going. Do 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 be do. So. So uh, that's one. Yeah. When are we starting the count from? Next year. Next year. I'll have to remember. Yeah. I'll have to make a whole. Um, I'll get them all scene. out of the way now. I'll make a whole scene, you know, like the Christmas scene. It'll just be so. I've all so's written all around. All have, around. Have the it screen. so every every time I say it, another one pops up on the screen. Well, until, if, there's, if, until there's no viewing area left. But that would be funny, but I have no technical skill with such things. And I couldn't even get the baubles on the uh, on the scene 
around here to be over the top of the camera. So, I mean, come on. I can't get loads of poppy up, so it's going to... I was going to say... I was actually going to say You were going to say no. so. No, I wasn't. <laughs> uh, yeah. So what we're gonna do next? You alright? Yeah. Just need to turn that off. Keep banging it on the light. That's what she said. So. <laughs> You're just chuckling to yourself now. Yeah. So yeah. Yes. So. 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 <laughs> you you trick, <laughs> trick me. How <laughs> did I trick you? Uh, yeah, Green, Green Stuff World, world uh, arrived the other day. Shocker. Whoop, whoop. On, uh, on Thursday, I think it was. Thursday. Stayed late at the shop on Thursday night to get it all checked off. Took me about seven hours to get it all uh, all checked off, present and correct. And uh, Mrs. MLG has been working very hard. That's a lie. Trying to get it, uh, trying to get it added to the website. And there's some new products. And some new we, sandy block that things. we've got. Some cool sandy block things. And I think the next thing on your addy list is uh, the dungeon molds. Yeah, maybe. Were they for somebody? I know uh, Tony was excited. There's loads of, those, of new stuff, Tony. The problem that there is, Tony says, is there any new stuff? There's loads of new stuff. The problem is, it's. Uh, Break up from school, so, so, so you so. said it. You said it. It was part of my sentence. <laughs> Break up from school, so I have a small person as well as the puppy to try and entertain, uh, which means that I haven't really been able to um, work to my fullest. Oh, I've only added those little sandy blocks today, which little Miss said she was going to help me, and then didn't and then she made an adventure map that we had to she is an elf and i had to be a half orc and we had to walk around the house following the map uh finding the traps uh, and disabling the traps so that we could go on this adventure when really i needed to be working but i went on an adventure instead so i'm very sorry everybody i've been been on an adventure today and haven't actually done any work Naughty, naughty, very naughty. <laughs> but some, we did manage some, some to kill people, all the Some blobs. people might get that. Some people might not. <laughs> Tony will. <laughs> but we did. Uh, we did manage to kill all the blobs. There was blobs in the bedroom apparently, uh, because you couldn't think of any monsters' names. So we had blobs and meany bad guy there's a meany bad guy over there and she was shooting him with her arrow which is a piece of wood she just holds a piece of wood and pretends to fire it as a as an ar as a bow and arrow so that's what i've been doing while you've been at work yeah so we've both been working hard well no i've been on an adventure and Gizmo was very confused and was just following us around like looking at us going w what are you doing <laughs> there's nothing there what are you attacking <laughs> there's nothing there we did disable all the traps though so that was handy oh good that means I won't uh, I won't get got by anything when I'm uh, yeah letting him out in the middle of the night and then I got told off because there was a statue and in, in our real life Pathfinder game Greg, my character, uh, sees a statue and just blunders up to it and pokes it and gets poisoned. So in our made-up game today of travelling around the house, there was a statue and I got the very, very firm warning that I wasn't allowed to go anywhere near it because she didn't have any anti-venom de-poisoner to bring me back to life. But at least I got a warning about it. That's very sensible of her. It is, especially seeing as how obviously none of this thing is none of these things are real. So I'm just walking around after her and then getting told off for going there statues, mm -hmm. which obviously aren't actually there. 
So I don't know that I've done wrong until I get told off. <laughs> no, don't go there. There's a statue. Oh, of course there is. Yes. <laughs> and then we played the house that Jack built. Yeah, I wondered why it was uh, was like there earlier on. Yeah, we played the house that Jack built, and she always wins, despite the fact that it is just a roll of a dice. Uh, she does always win. And then we played snakes and ladders. Apart from we had to do it the wrong way round. So you go up snakes and down ladders. We now just get why, confused. Why did you have to play it the wrong way around? Well, because why not? It's just yeah. okay. kids' imagination, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah. So there you go. That's why I've not added any of the green stuff world, only the sandy block things. But you know what's new, what's coming up. The, the killer pumpkins are cool. No, the giant killer pumpkins. The giant killer pumpkins. Could I have Hunter Green, my darling? You have got Hunter Green. Yeah, it's yours. I'll let you. Thank you. Excuse me while I just shake my uh, paint. Shake, shake, shake your body. Shake your body. Um, hey, you should have chicken dancing while you're shaking, so you can get extra shakes. Mm. So I'm going to do a uh, I'm going to do a little highlight of Hunter Green, and then I'm going to go back and put a little bit more of the weathered stone into the blue and do another highlight on the on the blue head. But I've stuck it onto uh, onto the necks, so I can hold it a little bit better and see what I'm doing. So Hunter Green is a, a Green Stuff World colour. It's a wonderful. Monster. Wonderful green, bright green, so it should go quite nicely over this um, Christmas wreath, which I'm going to use until I find a, a Green Stuff World green that I like. I, did, I was looking, and while I was unpacking the delivery the other day, we uh, one of the things that I've ordered this time is a complete, a second complete paint rack, so we could have a whole one in the stock room um, so the boys don't have to hunt through loose boxes of paint to fulfill the mail orders just try and make life everybody's life a little bit easier because we're so kind Tony says it's looking really cool and working very thank, well thank you very much So I'm just using this neat onto the thing. I mean, well, say neat. I've got a little bit of water on the brush. Uh, not loads, but yeah, fairly, fairly neat onto the uh, underlying colour. Because the Green Stuff World paints are fairly thin anyway. Don't require a great deal of thinning to uh, to get a nice even coat I find yeah so we've got uh, other green stuff world products of of note in the new thing so as Mrs MLG said we've got like whole range of sanding little pad things cool little uh, accessories Mrs MLG has added those there is the uh, the XL wet palette that they do. We've got those. There is a, a vast range of textured uh, plastic card sheet. So it's got like um, water effect and uh, checker plate, like kind of diamond effect. Like you might get in an industrial setting and then there's uh, like roof tile pieces and various paving sets so it's really cool a lot of a lot of uh, interesting and funky surfaces for you to use in your scratch building um, projects they're really funky and uh, 
the dungeon molds, they look awesome. And uh, what else is the XL wet palette? Those. Oh yeah, the um, so they've rebranded or repackaged uh, the lichen lichen uh, stuff that they previously had, and also the uh, the basing sands and things. So they used to do uh, basing sand and cork and what have you in a couple of sizes. So you used to get it in. 180 mil or 280 mil tubs and now we've just consolidated it into one 200 mil size so we've got all those to refresh and uh, and add and then there is also um, all the resin bits and pieces Uh, I've emailed it to you, Tony. So if you if you check the email that you've got registered with the uh, the web store, you should have received a, an email from us. Thank you. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, whole whole range of like resin bits. So there's the pumpkins, killer pumpkins, there's vending machines, trash bags, skulls, all manner of different skulls and other accessories, books and uh, potion bottles, beer bottles, loads of different like various resin accessories. Oh and some new paints, yeah we've got, um, that's just reminded me. So there's uh, there's a whole raft of new paints coming, which uh, Mrs. MLG will be adding, and uh, and some different coloured fleur splash gels, which uh, which will be added as well over the next few days. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe, 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 don't, don't go making promises, maybe, maybe, maybe. maybe. <laughs> you'll, have, you'll have a bit of chance tomorrow morning to uh, maybe. I'm get going, some done. I'm going to try and do some after the stream, aren't we? I thought we were going to bed. You said I thought we were we, having an early night. You said that we, you wanted, we were going to add some of this stuff. Yeah. You did. Well, you did. I no. asked. I did. Did I ask, ask you? Ask you would. You, anyway, we'll talk about that. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> just for like half an hour. No, I suppose I need to do them things. Here. Yeah, well, that's what you see. That was it. You said you you needed to do those other things on your computer, so I could just get a couple on, okay. and then uh, and then and then bed. Yeah. And we still need to watch the witchery thing. We do, yeah. At some point, but I think we need to do that when we can concentrate, and you're not going to fall asleep. Yeah, I'm not going to fall asleep. <gasps> Is, any, is anybody else's partner like that? I'm not going to fall asleep three seconds later snoring. Sat on the sofa. Uh, I, I just closed my eyes for I was just resting my eyes. Well, I, I fell, did fall asleep after tea yesterday, but then I had, like, eaten loads. Well, you work really hard. You get up very early and you go to bed very late. There isn't... Um, there is a reason why you fall asleep. It just makes me laugh that you always go, I'm not asleep, I'm not asleep, and then you snore. And then you say, just rest in my eyes. It's like, I'm snoring. Uh, Tony says, I like the resin kids toys. I might have to get one or two to add to the nightmare child room on my mansion lunacy. Oh yeah, we've got those. Yeah, mm -hmm. we, yeah they're one of the they're things. They're in the box, they're not on yet. Yeah, kid. Yeah, there's, I think there's a couple of different ones. There's Thanks, one that's Moxie. like teddy bears and stuff. Well, is, Moxie, is Moxie, Moxie going? If Thanks, Moxie's Moxie. going, then it must nearly be nine o'clock. Yeah. Thanks, Moxie. <sighs> Sharon says that she's the one that falls asleep. I am terrible at getting up in a morning. I am not a morning person at all. Whereas you are, aren't you? Yeah. But I could stay up later, messing about on the phone and just generally messing about. But I don't like getting up in a morning. But we're gonna uh, we're gonna try and not use our phones quite as much at the end of the day, aren't we? 
where we're going to attempt. You're, you're going to try and read something. I, I am. Mean, I'm gonna, yeah, well, that's what I was thinking. If we were go to bed, then I might... Like, oh, that's, get, that's not fair. Yeah, well, because you're going to want to be doing, like, fidgeting around and doing your Twitter, tiktok updatey thing. Yeah, you have to update the, yeah, have to update the, social, the shop social media. All those well, kind of I things. I thought when you said, oh, you want to go to bed, I thought you meant so you could have an early night, not so that you could read your book. Yeah, wasn't it? <laughs> Considering our average bedtime is like midnight to one o'clock, I thought oh, going yeah, going to going to bed at nine and then uh, reading a bit of book, reading a bit of book and maybe getting to sleep about ten would or whatever. Be an early would, night. Yeah, is an early Very night. Isn't it? Tony says Kathy's a nightmare. Falls asleep and then snores herself awake and moans that she doesn't get the film. Yeah, that's that's what this one's like. Yeah. Oh, what happened? Free guy. The what happened day. in that film? That film was really rubbish. She said to me, "I went, you didn't even see it." Yeah. And then I had to tell you what the plot was. Free guy started off all right, and I reckon I saw half of it, and then just my brain decided that it didn't need to watch the rest. You'd had enough. And, and yeah, I, I must have woken myself up snoring about three times, I think, because I kept like popping my head up and seeing whatever happening. But like, mm, yeah. Back to sleep. Wiki D says, It's me that usually falls asleep on the couch, then still awake at silly o'clock. Tony says, When you moan that die hard is too deep, you know there's a problem. <laughs> Chunkster just posted my new projects in the Discord. Cool. Sharon says, The only way for me to stay awake is apparently to put on a terrible movie. Are you, uh, are you like this one over here who says, like, this this movie is absolutely atrocious, or this TV series, but we'll just keep watching it, just in case it gets better, even though you know it's not going to get better. Mm. What was that series that you made us watch? It was, oh, it was appalling. And that that film, that, that film that started off really good with the Western guy. Oh, the Ballad of Buster Scruggs. The Ballad of Buster What's-His-Face. It starts off really good, like 10 minutes, 20 minutes. And then he's atrocious. It's won awards and all sorts. Yeah, it's, it's like a series of seven short films or something, oh, isn't it? it was pathetic. Pretty dire. And we just kept thinking, well, you just kept telling me that we had to keep watching it because it must get better. Yeah. And then it ended. It and it didn't get any better. It, it must get better. How can it have won awards when it's that poop? <laughs> and then it just it was... finished. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. But yes. So... Yeah, that's our life, isn't it? That's uh, that's what we do. Right. So here we go. Right, let's so let's have a let's have a progress. Uh, oh, okay. Up, update. Let's have a let's have a little uh, focusy focusy yeah. boo. Hold it I need still. to. Well, I need to get it in shot. I guess. Yeah, don't forget your screen is behind. I know, I know, and that's why I'm moving it dead slow. Mm, right. I'll, that's it. That'll do. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Some more sows. Green head, black head that's looking very blue. It is. What about your other heads? Because you, all of your heads look blue to me. Yeah. You've just got oh, hang on. three blue heads. <laughs> three blue heads. Well, you have three blue heads and a green head. Okay. So, yeah. Rawr. Grrr. Three. Where's the where's the fifth head? Is it's that, is attached that, to the body. Is that blue? That's gonna be red. We haven't painted yeah, that but one. is it really gonna be blue? Yeah, so this this one at the bottom here yeah. is blue. Yeah, you know, it's but it looks white on the screen, doesn't it? No. And and I'm gonna use a bit of pure white to lighten it up a bit. This one's supposed to be blue, mm -hmm. and this one I'm gonna put a black wash over it to darken it back so, down. So that that bottom one, that that I really like the blue one at the bottom this that one that you reckon this, is white the white one yeah so right. can we just have a look at that better because that's like not in a very good uh, uh, no it's, it's yeah, too I shiny I can't be much got the light no it's still, it's still too shiny yeah. no. no thank you everybody for saying, like, uh, like saying nice things about my uh, about my handiwork here so I'm just going to mix a little bit more uh, of that weathered stone into there and get a nice little... I like your blending on your necks. Thank you. It's 
A little lighter colour there. Maybe just water that down just a shade. I don't think I've got your Lamian medium. Oh, yeah. I still need to try out water plus. Right then. So. 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 <laughs> did so, that, so. Did that on I purpose. Know, said it on purpose that time. I'll just drop my guy in the green paint. No, oh, that's no good. <laughs> Is he alright? Well, he's not alright to start off with, so he'll do. So, what were you saying? So, yeah, so. A, a very edge highlight with this lighter colour. And then. Once this is dry, we'll have an Thanks, all, Tony. an all over black wash. Are you doing right, black wash off screen? Or oh yeah, yeah. So clay? yeah, I'm gonna just finish this. So I've mixed my paint now. Uh, oh, that's wicked. I'm gonna do this edge highlight before we finish for the evening. Are you still here, Chunkster? I've just looked at your work in progress shots. They're they're cool. What what are they? I know that Mister will know, but he can't see the screen. Ha ha ha! Hmm. I can't quite. I can't quite decide what they are. Where are they? You can't come over here. Oh, sorry. Get over there. I think they are uh, Batman DC. I thought movies. they looked like Jokery, villainy, Batman type things, but I, I, I couldn't. I couldn't decide. So I didn't want to commit. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, I was super concentrating on uh, not blathering this all over the mini. Mm. Well, you can't really call it a mini, can you? All over the big. Mm. So, uh, so, what are you painting tomorrow, my darling? I, uh, tomorrow night, I will be painting more orc, I think. But orc bust. I think I'm going to try and get my bust finished tomorrow. Yeah. For uh, the RCL. I'll let you. I don't know what I'm going to paint tomorrow, because I think this guy's done. Have we had any uh, notification on prizing for the RCL? Uh, no, not yet, but then... It's not until January. January, isn't it, Sharon, that they're doing the raffle? Because we've got until the end of December for once when we don't normally. Or, oh, yeah. I know it's not, they've not done it before, but normally at the end of a month we have less time, don't we? But the, because of Christmas mm. and staff obviously wanting to be at home with families and not giving us points and messing about, um, we've got until the end of December, so then the. the thingy, the raffle, will be in January. Yeah. So they said that they were going to update us uh, with what was happening. <laughs> I was just talking about the RCL, Sharon. Sharon says, I'm sorry, I just walked in and heard my name, but didn't hear the question. I was just saying that the raffle is in January, isn't it? And then, and the, but it's alright, because I found it now. Uh, I went and had a look. So yes, so the last submissions for the RCL are Friday, December the 31st at 6 o'clock, which is obviously um, all Texas time. The raffle starts on the 3rd of January and it ends on the 7th with the winners being done. And then the new quarter one starts on January the 10th. 
and they said that they're going to give us more information but obviously they haven't had time yet or at least i haven't seen it but it is only the 20th and obviously christmas and everything they must be super duper busy so i haven't seen anything about prizes or anything but i do keep looking it said uh, this was this was on the 6th it said there will be there will be another post in about a week with the themes and updates to the next year of reap challenge updated checklist new categories and some more options to use your points but so far uh, i haven't seen anything and i haven't seen anything about prizes have you seen anything about prizes uh, sharon i haven't seen anything but i mean they will they'll, they'll do it won't they mm. i'm hoping that there's going to be a prize that i'm going to get excited about because despite the fact that I haven't been doing the RCL to win a prize, it would be really cool to win a prize. And I haven't really been excited about any of the prizes so far. It would have been nice to win the paint and it would have been nice to win a voucher, but I haven't gone like, oh yeah, I really want that, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so yeah, we'll have to see. But this, they did say, um, because of the problems with the bot where they were going to do a raffle that all your points were accumulated but they can't now that they'll be adding a couple more raffle prizes to make up for it yeah, right. mm. but I haven't, cool. seen, haven't seen any prize announcements no worries Sharon just sometimes you see you see stuff before me that's all I have had a, I have had a look but Nothing as of yet, I don't think. I mean, there is some absolutely awesome submissions in the RCL. Some really beautiful pieces of work. And I found it very, very helpful with my 365 challenge to be able to have a focus and think, well, I can paint that because I can use it for the RCL. I don't think that I would have... Uh, I would have got this far, really, if I'd have just had to blunder along trying to find something to paint all on my little lonesome. Mm, yeah, it's giving you... That's some focus. Yeah. But yeah, and it's cool as well. It's just some something fun. And then obviously Goblin Inspiration uh, every month. That gives you uh, some inspiration as well. Don't forget to get your entries in. Well, it's not entries in, is it? Submissions in for Goblin Inspiration. You can find more information in our Discord and also from the Goblin Square on Twitter because it's uh, Hamish's thing. Um, but yeah, well, there's some. We've got um, Aries entered this uh, this time. Uh, I don't know if Aries entered before. Well, that's a, a, a new one. It's a super cool picture. Um, Little Miss has put one in. I've done one. What's the theme for this one? The theme for December is festival. So you can take that in any way that you want. It could be Christmas festival or any anything. Any, any way that you want to take that word and use it in a piece of art. The original inspiration was for miniature painting, but um, with... There are actual drawings and other arts being submitted. So Hamish says any any art that inspires you with that word is a win. So that's good. You haven't done one for a while, have you? You haven't really had time. No, I've been... Uh, the only kind of painting I've really got done over the past month or two has been uh, while well, we've been streaming, hasn't it? Yeah. Too. I don't really think you can fit a half finished Malge car into the theme of festival. No. <laughs> <laughs> he was so busy partying at the festival that all his heads fell off. Yeah. <laughs> all her heads fell off. <laughs> don't think that really works, does it? Headache. Headache from, from the partying. Mm. Maybe that's what you need to do, just finish one head and submit it as a headache from the festival party. So how are you getting on, my darling? Because it's ten past nine now. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, we can finish. I'm waiting for you, sweetie pie. Oh, I'm waiting for you. Oh, OK. Well, yeah, so I'm, I'm just going to work my way around the other side of the head. So I've done the one half, uh, and I'm just going to work my way around the other half of the head. 
So uh, I think that we shall uh, finish streaming for this <laughs> evening. I'll finish it off stream while Mrs. MLG adds some uh, green stuff with them. You've got jobs to do. You're not just carrying on painting. No, well, I'll just finish this section I'm doing and then... Uh, yeah, and then we'll say goodbye to everybody. So uh, we'll be back tomorrow night at 7pm. And uh, yeah, uh, where I'll be painting uh, Orc Bust from Spellcrow. So please join us tomorrow night if you can. And uh, we shall see you then. Thank you very much for joining us. We really do appreciate it. Thank and, you, everybody. Um, we'll work on, you know, trying to make Mr. MLG a little bit more excited about it. I am excited. I'm excited. Maybe, maybe I could get one of those, you know, like electric shock things where I can press a button and shock you every time that you've gone back into your too concentrating to be excited mode. <laughs> like, bzz, ah, I'm excited. I'm excited. Yay, the hobby's awesome. And then when you when you go back into this mode where you're just painting and, zzz, and zap you again, no, yeah. no, that, no, that sound would be cruel, cruel wouldn't it? That yeah. doesn't sound fun at all. Not that cruel, to you. <laughs> Honest. Okay. <laughs> right. See you later, everybody. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.